Thanks for watching this uh, short video. It's uh, focused on the desktop and QuickBooks Enterprise solutions, and it's really something that I spaced on. I should have seen this, you know, a month ago, but thanks to Charlie Russell for pointing it out, and I, I saw a link to his Sleater blog, right, QuickBooks and Beyond, on Twitter, and happened to just read it this morning, and then I had to go into product and figure it out. It has to do with the, you know, the subtotal we added in 2015. So if I just go to, say, <clears throat> a subtotal item, right, and, and edit it, you know, the ability to total columns on forms. And it even works for custom fields, which is nice. This is just something in, in Enterprise. It'd be sweet if we had it in, in, in Premiere, at least, because uh, this would be very helpful, I think, with manufacturing, wholesale, retail, and, and you know, contractors, too, that might be on Premiere. But what we added recently in the sixth release, R6, you just check off this by quantity. This will multiply the cost by the quantity field. So instead of a cost showing as 20 bucks, if you have three, it'll show it as 60. So you can not only see the cost on a sales form, which is helpful. It almost makes it like a report, but the cost of times the quantity that you're actually selling, which probably makes it even more important. As Charlie says, it was essentially useless until we added this in. So I'm going to actually uncheck it just to show you what it's like. Now, it's not retroactive, uh, which is what I realized. If we were to go to an invoice, and I'm going to clear it, and we'll just do one for Yo and Yo, and I'm going to choose quantity. Now, before even, I'm going to talk about formatting. It's important that you know you choose the appropriate invoice, and I have one for cost by quantity template, and I add a cost column that you can do for the sales forms. So let's talk about laying it out, right? Customize data layout, and you go to columns, and here's where cost is, which is just awesome. And you know you typically wouldn't put it, you wouldn't print it, right? It's just going to be for the screen. And then make sure you change the order of what you want. So I got item description, quantity, and then cost. And I actually you want probably want to have unit of measure, but I just took it off. Um, just to keep it easier to see for me. And then price and, and class. Now, price is still going to be the sales rate of the item times the quantity, but all this, this subtotaling will do, and that X quantity is going to allow me to multiply the quantity times the cost, or a custom field, quantity times a custom field, which I have as well. So I did put a palette in here based on Charlie's example, just to say consistent. Now, let's go to the item now, the item list itself. Now I'm going to go to an item that I'm going to sell. I'm going to do a, an exterior door and some doorknobs. Make Do your custom field, because this by quantity ability will work with custom fields too. So you click custom field, and I have my palette, and I put in 10 for this. So the amount is 10 for uh, 10 pallets or 10 per pallet or so, whatever you want to use it for. It's just an example to show that it will multiply the quantity times the amount. I mean, this could even be a dollar amount. Right, so keep that. Your, your defined fields in enterprise, you can do different kinds of data, and I think that's important. It's one of the big, big benefits. More custom fields, and then what kind of data do you want? So I have that, and I think on the doorknob, I have uh, a custom field of 20, right, for pallet, okay? Just so we can see the, the difference. So now we'll go to the invoice. Now I have not turned that functionality on. I can do the subtotal, but not by quantity. So I'm going to do the doorknobs, quantity 10. Right, and the cost is $34.95 each. And then I'm going to do the exterior door, and cost is uh, $590.39. Wow, price is only $120. Well, we got to do something about that, but just for the example, there you have it, okay? And then I usually skip a line and then do the subtotal because I like to see the, sp the a space in between. It's nice, but it's really up to you. So I do a subtotal, and you'll notice the subtotal is here, right? But this is still just the cost of the item. This has not been multiplied by a quantity of 10. So now let's go turn it on. Now it's not retroactive, so I'm going to clear the invoice out. And now let's go to the item. And it's not a preference. You really just go to the subtotal item. And then I'm going to check it for by quantity. You get a little pop-up. Now it's important to note that if the columns to the total are not checked, the by quantity won't work, right? And the actual result shows on the detailed line item, not the subtotal line item. Subtotal is just going to be the total of those columns, okay? But this is where we decided to turn it on. And it makes sense. But and thank you again for Charlie Russell for literally training me on this through his article. It would have been hard for me to figure it out without that. So I have those turned on. I click OK. Now when I go back to create an invoice, yo and yo, and we'll do, you know, the item code for doorknobs, Choose appropriate invoice, right? I got this cost times quantity. So I have the doorknobs. I'm going to do 10. 
Now it still says 34.95, so hold on. Let me do the exterior door, and I'm going to do 10. Right now, let's add the subtotal and see what happens. This is when it'll go to effect. So watch the cost column and the pallet columns. Subtotal. You'll notice that the cost 10 times the actual one, 10 times that. And when you drill into the pallet, it showed 100, but when you drill into it, it still shows the base unit. Not sure why that one didn't come over. I must have done the wrong doorknobs. Uh, yes, locking interior doorknobs. I'm not sure which one I put the 20 on. But anyway, you can see how the by quantity, the X quantity times quantity feature that we added to the subtotal item, though it doesn't affect the subtotal itself, it definitely, well, indirectly, I guess, it definitely affects the actual line items on the invoice or sales receipt.